Hello, my beautiful Libras. How are you today? My name is Flo. This is Go With The Flow Tarot. And today we are going to do your March through February reading. Um, this could be anywhere Spirit directs me to. So um, for my Libras, I would love, you, love to tell you guys that, um, <clears throat> first of all, if you like your um, personal reading, which is always more in-depth and personal towards you, geared towards you, if you resonate with this, um, Sun, Moon, and Rising, for my Libras, um, you may check my description box and look into my contact on Instagram. Click on that button and you can um, find me there and we can get your reading done, okay? Um, I do not charge a lot. I'm not every other reader. I use my gifts to help people. It's not about the money for me, but I got to make my coins too. Anyway, so for the Libras out here, um, I got the card of truth for you. Please look up these angel number, angel number 41. The information that you are receiving about your past lives has been hard for you to accept. Accept it as truth and allow yourself to feel the emotions behind it for my Libras, okay? So please check the number angel 41. Um, and like I said, truth, there's some things that are coming into you right now that you're receiving about past situations, past lives that have been hard for you to accept. Accept it as truth and allow yourself to feel the emotions behind it so that you can move on. Okay, so if there's some Libras out there that have been feeling like, like they're recently, like they've been, um, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> Figuring, finding some things out. Maybe there's going to be some truth that's going to be revealed to you. Um, I already shuffled these bullets. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you. Yes, okay. So for the truth, for the um, information that you're receiving about your past lives has been hard for, for you to accept. Accept it as truth and allow yourself to feel these emotions behind it. Okay, so, and I also got joy. Number 26, number 41 for your Libras. Please look it up, okay? Um, your soul is act asking you to allow the memory of a joyful past life to come through. This joy will replenish your heart and spill over into, the, into your current lifetime. <clears throat> if you're watching this, um, these messages are intended for you. If you got um, directed to this, spirit guides, angels, I always ask them, whoever needs this, please direct them to this um, reading. And thank you for giving me messages. And I do work with spirit. So holy angels, holy spirit, holy uh, anyone who's, who's a family member of anyone who will watch this, please come in and help me guide my beautiful Libras to their most highest good. Thank you so much, spirit. I love you. You're the best. Okay, so for a lot of you Libras here, you've been feeling like you've been you're in this energy of like the the battle like if you see here he's like wounded but he's still holding on he is still holding on to to what what's left and you know what um it, 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 it at the present moment some of you might be feeling I, I hate saying the word depressed but like more like overthinking contemplating um not sure not sure of, of what's going on um for those of you who feel like the wounded warrior the battle like you still fighting a battle or you were fighting a battle there is some somebody um something look <laughs> either that's you right now like you're like you know what i'm pushing forward yeah okay i'm sorry take that back um the wounded war the battle you're pushing forward now you're not about to sit around and sit in this energy okay Libra you're I think a lot of you have gotten um a lot of bad things came your way maybe you know um a lot of us maybe we just experienced some bad luck but now um I do see you trying to persevere and like be this soldier this strength this warrior that's not going to give up right um spiritually speaking and, and and logically speaking there is the divine guidance and whatever you're thinking about your thoughts and a lot of the things that you're thinking and worried about um i do see sagittarius energy aries leo and sag and then i also see um aquarius energy here as well um the sagittarius and the temperance card is also the sagittarius energy but um i do feel like whatever you've been thinking about whatever has been going on in your mind you are being right now guided by angels spirit guides if you've been asking for something to come your way or you've been asking for help or wondering why 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 if this is like your energy right now and you're feeling kind of like a little down on yourself and um you, you know maybe financially you're good right okay oh okay no no okay. all right thank you so i just heard a lot of the Libras out here are feeling like financially that's what's making them worry. Um, the finances, you're used to a certain type of life. Some of you might have um, been with somebody who took from you, who took a lot from you. They just kept taking and taking and taking. A lot of you weren't able to find balances, balance in your finances and it caused you to lose um, 
a lot of money or like you know just just not being smart about how you spend and where you spend where you're spending you were very like you know uh frivolous fr is that the word frivolous or yeah you were frivolous right or is that being cheap well whatever you were okay you you were you know just not kind of like uh, whatever i'll spend here i'll spend there and then look back and then it was like whoa wait a minute and for other of you there um there will be a message that you're going to find out some truth about something. So if somebody that you were with or something, you wanted to know something about them, there's definitely going to be a message coming in, some kind of, some form of very truthful, very truthful message. And then for a lot of you, there's some good luck coming your way. So, um, um, for, okay, thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, for, okay, Aquarius energy here. Um, okay, so for those of you who have been feeling like that and you feel like, Oh, you know, like nothing's going right for me and I, I like money's tight and I'm not able to, why did I hear for some of you that you're feeling like you know you're better than somebody and why does that person get more? Okay, so I felt that, I heard that, I felt that in my heart and my soul to say that out loud that you need to stop thinking that way. Stop comparing yourself. Don't compare, don't compare uh relate relate don't compare because this new start that you want that that's gonna there's gonna be a new start that's gonna come your way and it's gonna leave you thinking like should i i don't know maybe i shouldn't there's some decision some off some some kind of news some some form of news coming your way libra so if you've been worried about something like yeah Okay, so for a lot of you, it is work. Yes, I do see that it is work for a lot of you. And I do see a lot of you with this standoff is kind of like annoyed with people energy. Um, you're not you, you're not feeling emotionally supported at this moment, right? So um, there's... Okay, Spirit is telling me to tell you to, that you need to walk away from no lo what no longer serves you. So if you've been like, should I do this? Should I? Oh, okay. I just got it. So for this whole reading, yeah, I did get different messages and those are for some people, but I'm going to tell you right now. Spirit is saying the only way there's going to be an ending to whatever you're going through is if you let go of whatever you've been holding on to. You have been holding on to some form of energy where somebody who's not emotionally supportive is not there for you. They're not letting you get a new beginning in life, right? They're holding you back big time. And that's on you. And that's what I just heard. That's on you. Okay, that's on you. You need to let go of these people, places, or things in order for you to stop worrying and stop sitting in your bed and stop sitting in your head like that. You see that? You're like sleepless nights. You're not sleeping. You're like, you know what I mean? Some of you, I heard, just heard that you're like, you're trying to take like melatonin, anything to try to help you sleep at night because you're so worried and stressed out. But let me tell you something. None of that's going to work until you clear your negative energy, your space, your whole energy field needs to be cleared up. Energy field, meaning there's a whole invisible energy field around you, right, Libra? Us, me, you, everybody. And you need to block out these negative energies by doing that, what you, like I always say, I put up videos on my Instagram, at The Real Florina, you could look up and on my YouTube about how to clear negative energy. So I want you to look deep within yourself, figure out what you don't want around you, know it, and not, oh, I feel bad, oh, I can't let go of this person, I don't know if I should do this. Let it go. If you're not happy, why? Why are you holding on to it? Yep, look. Like I said, ending to something, the death card, Scorpio energy. There's got to be an ending to something. And that's the only way you're going to step into this Empress energy, okay? Some of you are worried because maybe somebody's pregnant or you're pregnant. <laughs> maybe there's, yeah, okay. So there was a death, or okay. There could have been somebody who got left being pregnant and was like pregnant. And then somebody just stopped talking to them was, or is not taking care of their children. Um... Yeah, because there was a big uh, thing in the house that happened where there was a breakup and somebody just, <sighs> whenever that happens to me, somebody is tired of it, right? Because I don't yawn often. The, um, the Empress energy, she's pregnant with ideas, pregnant, abundant, right? But then there's the family here, the Ten of Cups, but then right after the Ten of Cups, the Tower came. So I believe that for a lot of you, there was some family situation that left you feeling dumbfounded. Like, why? How? That, thank you, Spirit. And it's leaving you very, very defensive with your guard up. Like you're not, you're not about to take. First of all, you're not about to take shit from nobody right now, and that's a good energy to be into, especially when you've been through something. But at the end of the day, you can't look back. Okay, thank you, Spirit. I just heard you can't keep looking back and saying, "Oh, fuck, this happened to me. Fuck, that happened to me." You need to look forward and be like, "Okay, this happened to me. I need to, you know, learn from this lesson. What did I learn from this lesson? What am I taking home with with me with this?" What is um, God? What is what is um, my whole 
what is the whole thing that I'm supposed to learn from this lesson? Like, what am I doing here? Like, what am I, you know what I mean? Where am I going with this? Like, it's, 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 if you get out of this energy of like, why me? Why? Why did this? Okay. And I say that, I said that for another. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of you are dealing with the Gemini here too, as well. Um, or some of you were dealing with a Gem Gemini here as well. So that this person, Scorpio, um, Sagittarius, um, we got to resign here, but like there's two Scorpios. Um, so yeah. Okay. So. You are the life of the party, right? You're always the person that brings all the love and the truth and all that. You're like a truthful person. You like to live in your truth, but you're seeming to be very like standoffish and guarded right now because of what you've been through, right? So, because you can't see things clearly, but you're going to start seeing things clearly, okay? Libra, here we go. Here's the change. The change comes in this. There is somebody. Oh, okay. The emperor and the hierophant. So that means to me that somebody is actually dealing with some type of faith issues right now, religious issues. Maybe you're just going through a lack of faith um um there's also a father figure here a boss type of individual that that keeps you feeling burdened and and held down and now um that keeps you okay so for those of you that have been waiting for your ships to come in they are coming in they are coming in use your intuition libra you are a highly intuitive person why are you not using your intuition because you're about to move forward right the fool right after the high priestess the fool is looking at the high priestess like what i'm gonna do it and she's like well what are you waiting for like you already know what you want to do i don't know what you're waiting for and then you're like but i don't know if i should do it though and then like it's like then you got offers coming your way and you're just like very like mm, i can't right now because uh things are not but look look but look look they're moving they're moving things are moving like where you just gotta open up your mind and be more like you're not about to get there's no more of these immature energies um that you're gonna deal with that's good Get out of the immature energy. All these people that come at you with these immature offers, you're done with that. There's about to be somebody here who actually has it all, who can give it all to you. Or this might be you. You have it all. You can give it all to yourself. You don't need nobody else. Learn to love yourself. Find a joy in life. Find a truth in what you want and what you don't want. And pick up your, your things and leave from... And I don't mean like... For some of you, literally, for some of you, like mentally, spiritually, emotionally, pick up your stuff and leave. And this will lead to your Ten of Pentacles, sweetie. To your Ten of to your Nine of Pentacles, which is the same as the Ten, Nine, Ten, completion. Okay? Don't be so standoffish. That's your problem. You're being too standoffish with things right now. You're not accepting love. You're not accepting. A lot of people are in this energy right now. Wow. Very heavy. Like, I don't, I just don't want it no more. But you do. You know you do. We all want love, right? But the thing is, like, okay, so if you were feeling unjustified, yo, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Oh, my God. The Justice card and the Judgment card, one after the other. Some of you could be waiting for a court decision. Just know that that court is going to take time. It's going to take time, but a message is going to come from that court. It's going to leave you feeling balanced. And yes, your ships are coming in. Yes. Oh, there's some communication coming in from that. If you have some type of legal situation you're waiting for, there is some situation. It's, yeah, you're going to, okay. All right. I'm done here because you, you know what? You're like, you're going to get out of this energy because you're about to get every, every message, whatever answers that you've been asking for. And I want you to know one thing I've been told to tell you a couple of times in this reading is to tell you to ask for guidance, ask your spirit guides, your angels. They will always be there. They will always guide you. Do not ever, ever sleep on your angels or your spirit guides. They are always there with you. You are never alone. Even when you're alone, you're not alone. They're with you in the shower while you're taking a shit. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, though, they are they, they are always there for you. They love you and they want to see you do well. So please, all my Libras, I hope you take that advice because things are moving in the direction of stop worrying. Like I said, if you want a private reading, click on the contact. Look at the description box below on YouTube. Follow my YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube. Follow my Instagram at The Real Florina. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.